Hey guys, Donna here, Hazelbell Farm. Not much exciting today, just an update vlog. We've been a little under the weather and um, it's been super windy, hard to film anything that I do outside. And frankly, it's been kind of boring. Things like moving mulch, adding soil to plants, <laughs> fertilizing, that kind of boring stuff. But here are the cows. Hi, Harry. Hi, Harry. Hi, baby. Loud girl. Loud girl, Jamie. Why are you so loud? No, no. You're s no. She's so noisy. Why is she so noisy? I don't know why she's so loud. She cries all the time. She wants all the attention. She's not shedding out her coat as well as I would like. And it's been hot. <laughs> I have to watch Harry Harry. He is right at the age um, where nah. their, their hormones really kick in. And so I have to make sure he doesn't overstep his bounds. He likes this good head scratching. Yeah. But he also likes to butt heads. And he's been doing it with the cows. It's kind of become a little bit of a problem uh, with Belle especially. Um, where he, he will hurt them with that head. <laughs> this, she just put herself right up under my arm. <laughs> She's a sweetheart. Janie's so sweet. I went back and checked my calendar. Janie's due date, I believe, is May 12th. I know she was bred for that due date. I don't know if she actually settled on that breeding, so it could be later than that, but um, the date that I witnessed breeding, I wrote down her due date as May 12th. So that's exciting. It's end of February. Um, it'll be fun to have more lamps on the ground. Okay, so this is something that's kind of funny lately with the cows. Usually they're all laying together, except Dolly White. Now she's laying rather close to them right now. So most times when I look out, Dolly is far, far away from the rest of the herd. When they're laying down anyway. Hey lady, how are you mama? Miss Dolly's about five weeks out from her due date. So that's exciting, just under five weeks. The warm season brings fly season to us. Okay, is the flies bothering you? She actually has a fly mask that she seems to like wearing, so I may bust that out. Everybody's gonna get some spray. Does that feel good? Does that feel good? She's such a sweet girl. Check out how big she is. Mama cows start doing some pretty funny things when they get closer to their due date. Look how big that belly is. Big girl. One of the things is they seclude themselves a little more often. Um, another is they tend to get super, um, they tend to want to lick everybody else a lot. She's been doing that. And Another thing um, that our Hazel used to do when she got close to the end was she refused to stand up when it was when she needed to poop. So she would just poop wherever she was laying and not get up. That's gross. And um, Dolly White does that. So I know she's in the home stretch. <laughs> Look at these beautiful ladies. So Jolene has been, um, she's actually been putting on some weight since we wormed her. She looks pretty good. Um, we're tracking heat cycles on her now. It's been a little difficult because she's much smaller than everybody else. And so we don't want her to get hurt. Um, but she looks good. She looks real good. We're talking about breeding her in the near future. And her mama Dolly B is doing great lovely girl lovely girl hey sweet girl flies bothering you too you feel good 
Does that feel good? So I come out a lot. Scratch on our neck. This is this is her favorite spot. It's everybody's favorite spot. Feel mean. You want some? You want some love? Oh yeah. <laughs> That's a good spot, huh? That's a good spot, huh? You're not quite losing your coat yet. Mama. That baby. They're so funny, so curious. All right, back to Dolly White. So the other thing is um, with Dolly, what I like to do, I start taking pictures of her udder and I put my hand in here just for comparison and I will compare that picture to the last picture that I took. I do that every couple of days. See if that baby's moving at all since so she got up. She's probably gonna move on. That cute little udder is bigger and tighter than it was when I was milking her and she was giving me more than about two and a half gallons of milk. So I'm really excited to see what she does in this lactation. Um, we will start giving her a little bit of grain in a couple of weeks, probably in about three weeks. Um, because once she calves, we'll give her a bunch more grain to um, keep that production up for her calf and for us because her whole purpose is to provide us with milk. Jolene and that little Wagyu calf, Kawasaki, have been buddies lately. They've been friends. There's been a lot of mounting going on. Sometimes calves just do that to try to establish dominance. Look what it's done for her. She's got the spot rub right here. All right, go in, lady. Here's something funny. Eric's down there, down the driveway. He let one of my turkeys out. <laughs> now, my two gobbler turkeys are too big and fat to fly. One of them can't even get himself out of the coop, up over the ledge to get out of the coop. But they've been gobbling a lot here lately. Turkey season is upon us. Eric has a hope. <laughs> that my turkeys will call the hens in, which will call the other wild turkeys in. Nothing like living in a house full of turkey hunters. So this is exciting. I came in here this morning to feed animals and saw that some of these peppers are finally germinating. And I put these tomatoes that came up back under the grow lights after I saw how well my peppers did under the grow lights, my sweet peppers. So I had taken most of my sweet peppers out to the garden and um, just to have them under sunlight and had left a couple in here because they didn't fit in a tray, frankly. I mean, that's the only reason. It's kind of a dumb reason, but they didn't fit in the tray that I was carrying peppers out in. And so I left them under the lights with some other things still germinating. And I left the lights on 24 seven. And I finally ended up pulling those peppers out, took them out to the garden, and they were so much bigger than those, and, and healthier looking than those that I had taken out previously. So I'm a believer in the lights, and I ended up putting those tomatoes back under the lights because I want them to be big and strong when I sell them for my plant sale. I don't want to sell anything puny and weak. I want people to feel like, um, you know, their money was well spent. It's hard earned money. And um, I just don't want people to think that they didn't get the best for their dollar. So I put them back under the lights. <laughs> oh no. This flower got too heavy for this poor onion. I think I want to save seeds from this. So I'm letting it go, I let it flower, I'm letting it go.
No, not yet. I mean, I see seeds in there, but they're pretty moist. I don't think those would be ready. So that one little bud had what appears to be three little seeds. I don't think they're ready, but I'm gonna drop them down here anyways and see what happens. So I'll check this again. I don't know. I'll just keep an eye on it for a couple days. We'll see. Other things that are going to seed are these lettuces. Now this lettuce has aphids in it. Let's see if you can see those little bugs. I'm not going to treat it. I'm just gonna let them be. They'll stay off of my other plants. This purple lettuce, I can't remember what it's called. It's already flowered, um, so it's going to seed as well. We'll save those for next year, for the fall. This grape is leafing out, opened up. These really opened up just today. So that's exciting. I hope it gets more and it's not just the one stem. I hope all these little vines get leaves. I don't see any other sign of leaves growing though. Just, just that one stretch. So these are Roma tomatoes. Let's see if you can see that. And you can see how much room is in this pot and how leggy these tomatoes are getting. So tomatoes will create stem or roots all along their stems and I don't want it to be leggy, I want it to be big and strong, so I'm just going to add some soil to these pots. So here are those mint plants that we did the other day. The oregano. Looking great. They're all looking great. So these are the peppers that I had taken out from the whites previously. And these are the same peppers. I just put them out yes or two days ago. They're getting a little bit of sun scald. I didn't harden them off as well as I should have, but it's been cloudy days, so I thought they were okay. Um, but look how much taller they are. The same peppers planted at the same time in the same soil. So this, the only difference was these were under the lights. So I'm pretty impressed. Friends, just a quick update. Nothing to teach you, except maybe for life work. That's <laughs> the only thing I can think of. Um, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs>